we are learning the quadratic formula. So we have um, a formula with an A, a B, and a C in it. We have a quadratic, a trinomial. Sometimes it's a binomial with just two numbers. But the formula is, I'll sing it. Um, X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So this is a way to remember it. It's just a technique, a song. And we need to find A, B, and C in our formula. So right now, I'm going to start off by identifying what's A, what's B, what's C. So, A equals 2. B equals negative 3. C equals negative 6. So my formula is, all right, here we go. X equals, so negative B. B is already negative 3. Watch the signs. Negative B, so B is another negative 3. Negative B plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 6 all over 2 times 2 all right negative negative 3 well that's just going to be 3 plus or minus so this is the part that students sometimes mess up on you have to do all this math underneath the square root sign. So first of all, negative 3 squared. That's negative 3 times negative 3. So it's going to be a positive. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So it's going to say the square root of 9. And then I've got to do negative 4 times 2 times negative 6. Negative 4 times 2 times negative 6. All three of those multiplied together. You could go slowly and just say, okay, negative 4 times 2. Because you know subtraction sign means negative also. It's the same thing. Negative 4 times 2. Negative 8 times negative 6. Negative 8 times negative 6. What is negative 8 times negative 6? Positive 48. Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said 30 something. Sorry. Plus 48. So it's the square root of 9 plus 48 all over 2 times 2. That's 4. Okay. Now, simplify where you can. You can add 9 plus 48. 3 plus or minus the square root of... 57 divided by 4. So I'd like to see if I can, you know, simplify anything. Can 57 be broken down? We think of perfect squares. Does a 4 go into it? Does 9 go into it? Does 16 go into it? Well, 4 doesn't go into it because 4 only goes into even numbers. 57 is odd. So that's not going to be... 9 does not go into 57, it goes into 54 and 63. 16, 16, 32, 48, 64, 16 is equal to it. So, can 3 and 4 be simplified? Because they're on the outside. If, like, if these could be simplified, since they're out on their own, I could like maybe reduce that fraction. But again, I can't do 3 over 4. So this is done. I don't have to do any more. <clears throat> My two answers are that. I'm okay with you leaving your answer like this. If you were graphing it, we're not going to graph it. But I need to let you know that it 
if I wanted to go further, I would have to figure out what's the square root of 57. It's 7.5. Sorry. So I could go, let me make room, 3 plus 7.5 over 4, and 3 minus 7.5 over 4, plus and minus. These are going to be my x-intercepts, my solutions, my zeros. 10.5 over 4, negative 4.5 over 4. Um, 10.5 over 4. Ten point five over four is two point six. Four point five divided by four is one point one. Those would be my two solutions if I wanted a decimal form. So I can go steps further and I'm happy with three plus or minus two attribute seven, because we're not graphing it. But if I were to graph it and I had to find my my x-intercepts, my solutions, my roots, my zeros, I would have to full on do the two answers, decimal form. So I can go further than rad 57. For our notes, we are not going to be going to decimal answers at all. Let's do example two. A equals, B equals, C equals. So always, if there's no number in front of x squared, a would equal 1, b is negative 2, c is negative 5. So, uh, I want to do the German version. Negative, negative 2, negative b, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 5 over 2 times 1 instead of a you put in a, a, a 1 instead of b you put in a negative 2 instead of c you put a negative 5 All right, so negative negative 2 is just 2, plus or minus the square root, okay, negative 2 squared, 4, and then negative 4 times 1 times negative 5, negative 4 times 1 times negative 5, what's that? 20, plus 20. Two negatives are going to be a positive. This negative form, this negative 5, is going to give me a positive. Plus sign. Over 2. 2 plus or minus the square root of 24 over 2. Well, the square root of 24, you guys, that can be simplified. It's 4 times 6. Two red 6, yeah? Anything that can be simplified, broken down, do it. X equals 2 plus or minus 2 radical 6 divided by 2. I said earlier, if something can be broken down or simplified, I can't touch the rad 6. You can't go any further. Don't do anything with the 6. But all these 2s out here, they can be divided out. This denominator of 2 divided by the numbers up top. Not the 6, though. Not the 6. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into this 2 once. Don't touch the 6. The 6 is under. It's like protected by that square root. 
1 plus or minus 1 root 6. I don't even need to put over 1. Nobody does over 1. So, that's that. All right. I'm going to let you go ahead and start on, um, we're not going to do this back one through eight because all of your homework on this packet. And then I have another one to give you in like 20 minutes. You're only doing the evens on the board. It says 9.6 a and B evens two, six, 10. So you're circling two, six, 10. You will also circle 12, 16, 20. Keep in mind on number 16, there is no, there is no B. All right, I will start you off with number two. Put on the side the A, B, and C, because you need the room for your formula on the right. Negative seven plus or minus, so that's negative B, negative seven. The square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 10 over 2 times 3. Okay. Negative 7 plus or minus. All right, I got to do this math. 7 squared, 49. And then 4 times 3 times 10, or negative 4 times 3 times negative 10. Negative 4 times 3, negative 12 times negative 10. So negative 12 times negative 10. Positive 120. That's the part you got to get good at. Over 2 times 3, 6. Well, 49 plus 120 makes 169, and that's a perfect square. Does anyone know what times what makes 169? 13. Good job. So here we go. X equals and split it up. So, oh, well, negative 7 plus or minus 13 over 6. So it's no longer in square root. 13. So I'm going to do both of them over here. X equals negative 7 plus 13 over 6. Negative 7 minus 13 over 6. I go all the way to the end because it's a perfect square. Uh, 6 over 6. X equals 1. Negative 20 over 6. Um... Well, it's negative 10 thirds, but if, you know, this is a X intercept, you know, if, if I were graphing it, I'd have to change it to a mixed number. What's 10 over three is a mixed number. Three, 
three goes into ten three times and one third. So this, you're going to get two answers for everything, plus and minus. And this one was great because 169 worked out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you would lose partial credit on a quiz or test if you didn't break it down all the way. All right, so I'm going to stop the video.